Um, uh, oh, uh, oh. I have arrived today at Baratour Reservoir um, Park just a little ways away and decided to come for a little walk through the woods and go and visit the reservoir before I go back to the car and get my pack. The plan is that I'm then going to head on up to Sheep's Tour and find a little spot to, to have a nice wild camp for the night. I'm completely solo this time. Uh, Dave's not with me. He's uh, staying at home today. The weather's a bit too warm and is, I'm a little bit worried about him around the, all the sheep, to be honest. Um, it is called Sheep's Tour. Never been there. I don't know what it's like, but the name tells me that it's going to be sheep. Also, just a quick note, I want to apologise in advance if the audio is a bit off. Um, I haven't brought my microphone with me, so I'm relying on the camera microphone. I'll do my best. So here I am, sat peacefully by Burrator Reservoir, enjoying this view. So you can see it's got my big ugly mug in the way. You can just hear the, the birds tweeting away and the gentle sound of the water running by. Really, really nice here. Coming up on some kind of run down ruined building here now. No idea what it is. But I've got time. Let's go and investigate. Why not? Sorry about the wind. Nothing I can do about that. I've done most of the reservoir now. Well, I hope you can hear me. It's the most lovely little waterfall here. It's not really a proper waterfall, there's a pipe coming out of the ground, spitting the water out at quite a rate. But by God, is it handsome. So in the background you can see my intended destination, uh, Sheep's Tour, just up there. There's people up there at the moment, I can see them. So uh, let's get it on. These guys have got the right idea. Just lying down on top of a hedge, chilling out in the shade. Good on them. So here I am, about halfway up Sheep's Tour. 
I found about that way half a bra on the floor. I'd pick it up, but I feel like a bit of a pervert. And I'm gonna try and explain that to my wife when I get home. But I can see why they call it Sheep's Tour. There's sheep everywhere. It's gonna be a very noisy, sheepy night up here. As you can probably hear, I'm out of breath. I've only walked from down there so far. So here we are, pretty much set up now, up on Sheep's Tour. Such a beautiful evening. Got a little bit of admin to do, sort out a few bits and bobs. Got my lead day trace carrier bag here, ready to pick up all my rubbish and maybe half a bra on the way home. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I'm absolutely exhausted quite frankly it's been a long day it's been a great day so i've got the oex fox 2 set up again ready to go i've got my trekology a luft ul 140 air mattress by a luft pillow in its nature hike wrong way up nature hike uh, padded pillowcase which on my last camp oh it was amazing it made a world of difference got my snug pack in case I need it got a feeling it's gonna get quite chilly later and my buff, bandarf, whatever you want to call it, snood. I find it's really handy at night when it gets a bit cold. I can literally pull it down over my face, my ears. It really takes the chill off. Can't wear a hat in bed, it's horrible and it falls off all the time. Probably because I'm so slick. So I made my way to, uh, to Sheep's Tour and I could see why it's called Sheep's Tour. Lots of sheep. So I'm glad that I didn't bring Dave. I didn't want to worry in any of the animals, any of the wildlife. I got about, I got to what I thought was the top of Sheep's Tour. And then as I came over the summit, I realized, no, I was about halfway up. So I dumped my bag in a crevice and I took a walk to the top of Sheep's Tour because I could see a few people up there and I thought well are they, are they just visiting and going to be going again or are they camping so I took a walk up there and there's at least three groups up there so I really didn't fancy being around other people I've come out here to be alone so I've come back down to where I dumped my bag, found a nice little spot, pitched my tent, and then realized that I'm on the main path. So I might have a couple of people walking by me this evening. No, I'm not leaving the tent now, because it's, it's a nice spot. I'll show you my view in a minute. But it's been a fantastic day. We've had temperatures, I think at 1.22 degrees centigrade. And it was, it was glorious. I think uh, I might pay for it later. I did have my hat on for most of it, but I've got a bit of a headache. I'm going to take some paracetamol in a minute. There's a very light breeze, but other than that, it's, it's perfect up here. I 
think. I hope. Let's see if we get another 30% chance of drizzle, which actually turns out to be a thunderstorm again today. Image of Sheep's Tour. And we move around to the right, and we can see the very, very beautiful Baratour Reservoir. That sun is going to be beautiful at sunset, I'm sure of it. And then moving around to here, we've got Peak Hill, Sharpin Tour, and Leather Tour. Behind me is the rest of Sheep's Tour, but I'm not going up again. Absolutely stunning out here, isn't it? I think you'll agree. So I'm about to make myself a nice cuppa. Oh, I say nice cuppa, I hope it's a nice cuppa because it's a Nescafe 3-in-1 powder mix. I'm not really that keen from what I remember. But it's a little less bulk in the pack, so I thought I'd try it this time. Got a couple of uh, Wayfarer dishes to do. Can't remember what they are now. Chicken curry, I think, or beef curry, and a chocolate pudding. Uh, Planet X Bikes, who produced the uh, Jobsworth X2 stove, came through and managed to ship me a replacement for my faulty one, which arrived this morning. So I gave it a quick boil off, and all seems fine. No spitting. No massive gas release and no fireball. I'll come back to you once I've got the camera. So, time to make a cup of tea or coffee in the job's worth. Absolutely love this thing, really do. First, I want to show you this. You may, may not have seen this before. But this is a small folding, slightly bent uh, table made by Mike, who's a YouTuber, Wild Camper, uh, Novice Wild Camper is his channel name, so go look him up. He sells these for a tenner. Plus postage. Dead simple to put together. Weighs less than a hundred grams. Will hold up to five kilos in weight. This ten quid. So there you go. So let's get a cupper on. My favourite item in my kit is my titanium spork. I'm absolutely fascinated and amazed at just how light it is and strong. It certainly does the job. The temperature is dropping along with the sun. So I think I'm gonna to have to get dressed up a little bit more, put my fleece on. Hopefully by then my cup of coffee will be cool enough to drink. This does not look particularly appetizing. Yeah, we'll see. This is why it's called Sheep's Tour. Because there's sheep everywhere. And lambs. It's 
some of them look like they're settling down for the evening. Huddled down. I really hope you stay away from my tent. That should be good. Well, the temperature is dropping. The sun has dipped below the horizon. So we've got a beautiful sky. Personally, I'm exhausted. I've got a bit of a headache. So it's not going to be long before I decide to just settle down and go to sleep. Well, it's certainly coming in colder now. The sun has dropped below the horizon. Got me. Jacket on, hat on, normal glasses. Still got my legs out though. Don't see the point in putting the my trousers on. I'm gonna be bedding down soon. Got a pretty bad headache to be honest. That sun beating down on me has uh, done me in. And all the walking, I mean, for me, that's is phenomenal. Oh. Anyway, dinner, my curry, chili, sorry, chili, was, was actually all right. I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't too spicy, it's tasty. The only downside was that I, while it was cooking, I didn't stir it often enough and it's now baked to the bottom of my job's worth. So I'm really gutted about that. I'm hoping that when I get home I'll be able to clean that properly, but it does mean that in the morning, no coffee. That's not good. But for now, I've got a couple of uh, little special, not quite Copperberg, strawberry and lime ciders. So I'm gonna knock those back. And then I'm probably just gonna bed down and go to sleep. I will catch you in the morning. Unless there's anything eventful that happens through the night. morning it's just uh, seven o'clock in the morning I woke up a few minutes ago a pretty good night we had to get up three times in the night and none of that was because the bad weather Ooh. it was just uh, it was nature calls I didn't recall getting disturbed by any animals the wind, no rain. Yeah, it was a good night. So, let's take a look and see what the morning looks like just outside my tent. Sight to wake up to, eh? That, my friends, is one of the reasons why I do this. Well, I've had my morning drink of water. I don't think I'm going to risk the stove to make a coffee this morning. So I think I'm going to get myself sorted and start packing up. Well, I decided to give it a shot anyway. I need my coffee. Okay, so I'm dressed. Let's see how minging this coffee is. I'll be honest, it's not bad. Yeah, it doesn't taste too bad at all. I'm 
still hoping that I can get the burnt on food out there when I get home. Well, there we go, it's time to get this lot packed up. All gone. Seems we're in bag of rubbish. Now it's time to start walking down there. Certainly a lot breezier this morning than it was yesterday. And a little bit of a struggle to pack up the tent, blowing everywhere. I picked up rubbish as I've come down the hill. Even that half a bra that I found yesterday. Almost back at the car. I'm a little bit tired from all the walking. Beautiful little walk down here. Love the way it's sort of grown. Well, not really grown, I like the way the, tr the path has been trodden into the rock formations and the, the moss covered walls, of rocks, stones. It's quite a magical little walk down here. It's beautiful. So I just don't stop and take a photo of that. Yeah, last night was a great wild camp. Fantastic, best night's sleep I've had in a tent so far. I think they seem to get a little bit better each time. Thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, here we are back at the car park. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all that jazz. That'd be great. If you don't like the video, you can tell me why. So I can make it better for next time. Cheers all.